Hi, this is Drew, uh, KD7QCU. I'm testing the Ameritron RCS4, which is a four-way antenna coax switch uh, that's remote mount. So we have uh, our interface here. There's an on and an off button. And uh, just to let you know, the uh, it does not work if you uh, have this set to off. Just you know, just so you know, um, it won't transmit anything if it's off. Um, so uh, we have our selector knob. We can switch between four. Uh, this does plug into your wall, um, this box, and then uh, your uh, radio gets connected into the back and then you have a piece of coax that's going to uh, the remote box that gets mounted onto the tower. So right here I just have a little 50 ohm uh, load. It's two 100 uh, ohm resistors uh, together to make 50 ohms and so I have that currently plugged into antenna one. So now we're going to uh, now connect that into our um, MFJ uh, SWR analyzer and I just wanted to show you guys the um, the SWR uh, throughout the uh, throughout the band because I know on their website they say that this uh, is good to uh, 30 megahertz um, however I've noticed that it also works on 6 meters so um, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep down uh, from 3.5 down to uh, 1.8 and we notice that the uh, SWR is zero, uh, or is, is one, sorry. And uh, the resistance on that 50 ohm load is, is showing 52 ohms on here. So now we're going to go ahead and select uh, four to 10 megahertz. And so now we're at uh, the low side of the band, so four. And we're going to go ahead and sweep up. SWR 1.1, 1.0. Resistance is still staying around 50 ohms. Okay, now we're going to go to 10 to 27 megahertz. Uh, so now we're at 27 megahertz and we're showing about 1.2. And so we're going to go ahead and sweep down. Uh, there's 1.1. One 1.0. Okay, and that's 10. And so now we're going to go ahead and switch to uh, 27 through 70. And this is going to show us uh, 6 meters, which is at 50 megahertz. And so we're currently at 1.2, and we're going to go ahead and start sweeping up here. So now it's going to 1.1, 1.2. Uh, resistance kind of uh, goes down a little bit, down to about 44 ohms, uh, and then back up to uh, about 60. So we're getting a little bit of mismatch in here. Um, but we're still seeing an SWR of 1.2, 1.1, uh, which is very acceptable. And so then at uh, 50.25, we're at a 1.1 SWR. So now we're going to go ahead and continue up. Now we're at 70, which we're showing a 1.1, and uh, I'll also show 70 to 114, not that it's really ham bands, but... So we're showing a 1.6, uh, down to 1.0, okay, and so now let's go ahead and check out 2 meters. So uh, we're a little bit above, there we go, so 148, we're showing 2.3, um, go down to 146, 2.2, .2, and down to 144, 2.1, um, and then we're going to go ahead and just sweep all the way down to 114. Um, so we're showing about two, uh, two of a SWR uh, for two meters, so I mean that's quite a bit of an SWR to have on there. Um, I mean you could definitely use this for maybe uh, like a ground plane vertical for working local repeaters on two meters if you wanted. Um, but uh, in my opinion that this uh, the coax switch would work great from uh, 1.8 all the way up to uh, 50 megahertz, which is 6 meters. Anyway, uh, KD7QCU uh, with just a little quick uh, rundown of the Ameritron RCS4 remote uh, coax switch. 73s.